listening to this show. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Girl Spill That Tea. Guys, I have an amazing, amazing guest who is going to be on today. His name is none other than Johnny Winston III. And guys, when I tell you that this brother's got it going on, this brother has got it going on, okay? I'm talking like handsome to death, like dimples to the gods and has a business sense that everybody needs to like emulate. Think about it like this. When we spill tea, we don't only just talk about being single and ghosted and dumped and yada, yada, yada. Hey, Soror, we have a few more days to Centennial. Hey, Go Rice Girl. Hey, everybody. Hey, Renee. Thank you for joining. Come on in and share, share, share. Tell people more about it because we are sipping on tea with me. Okay, I'm guilty, guys. I have five tea bags today. I don't know what I did. Five more tea. I did five tea bags. I was feeling like super anxious for whatever reason. And I don't know. And I was also challenged to sew a blanket. So I was, when I listened to Siri, I said, Siri or Alexa, what should single people who've been ghosted do to pass time? And she said, girl, all you have to do is crochet. So that's what I'm doing. I am doing well so far. I think this is going to be a blanket. I think this is going to be a blanket. Somehow, some way. Hi, Mark. Thank you guys for joining. Guys, you guys rock. You got me to about 10,000 views in two weeks. Thank you. Hey, Coach Jack. What's up, wifey? So, <laughs> so much to share in such little time. So, I'm going to do it like super fast, twister style. Number one, happy new year. Happy new decade. I hope y'all ain't doing the same thing you were doing last decade. You heard what Prince said back in 1999. You, you can't do stuff the way you were doing it back then in the, you know, last decade. Like, last decade is like so old. Look at this. I am really doing it. I'm talking and doing it. Okay. Last decade behavior is so old. We have to do something totally different and something totally bold and something totally fun. So when I talk about spilling tea, guys, again, it's not only going to be about singlehood. It's just going to be about life in general. And some things about life is just so super that you just have got to talk about it. So I am trying to get on. I hate iPads. iPads hate me. I think that's what the problem is. So, make sure you follow me at Ms. Optimism. Um, replace the S's with Z's for obvious reasons. And um, let's get this party going. So, shout out to Facebook. Hey, guys. Johnny Winston. I'm going to share my screen before I bring him on. Okay, ladies. I think he's taken. So, we don't, you know, we're going to have to be respectful. Hey, I'm Kiyoki. You know, I'm pontificating. I don't know. But... If you see what I see, you you would assume the same thing. So I'm going to share my screen, y'all, because I want you to see what this brother is doing out there in the ATL. Okay? So, and I turned I turned it off. Y'all, y'all distracted me. Hi. All right, there we go. Look at all that awesomeness right there. This brother knows what he's doing right here. He's not coming to play. He's not coming to like do some old ring ding, backwoods wedding. He's trying to make sure you get the best that you could possibly get for the time that you have him and his crew. He's like 89 people that work with him. There's his phone number. If you know anybody that is looking for a wedding planner, this is who you want to get. Look at, I mean, look at, look at this. Absolutely delish. So for a sister like me with a thyroid problem, going to get these things yanked out my neck so I can go back down to a size eight. This is not, this is not good for me because I want to try everything on there. Hi, your meal. So this is what's going on. He's providing quality service with an exclusive touch to it where we provide quality service with elegance. Okay, that is who's coming on my show today. Girl, yes, I'm like, listen, I'm not going to be able to keep that hourglass figure with pictures looking like that. Isn't it right, right, Renee? Right? Like people who say they're wedding planners need to take heed and take note because I ain't seen nothing like that before. I want to invite to the reception. I'm ready to dance. Look, right? I don't care who's getting married. I just want to come. How's that? How about that? So um, the question for tonight, guys, is this. Is there a cutoff point for people getting married 
And is it not married, but like the big pomp and circumstance, you know, with the big fluffy dress, you know, you got 12 kids, but you want a bright white wedding gown, like that kind of stuff. Like, when is it too late to say, I'm going to go and buy and say yes to the dress? When is it too late to have like a 10 and $20,000 wedding? Is there such thing as it being too late? Is it bride's choice? Can she do it whenever she wants, however she wants? Do you think that destination weddings are better? I want to hear from you guys. So press one. <clears throat> if you think that ladies should stop with huge weddings, I guess you can say, at a certain age. And if so, which age do you think that is? And you better not say close to my age because I'm come through the screen and fight you. I want the wedding. I want the I want the whole pomp and circumstance. So, all right. So Facebook says, yes, there should be a cutoff point, but they didn't give an age. Anybody? Oh, see, my soror said all ages. I saw a woman that was like maybe in her 80s and she had like that lavender. Hey, Justin, what's going on, honey bunny? I saw a, a lady. She was probably in her 80s and she had like that lavender gray hair and she, homegirl had on a lilac color wedding gown doing the darn thing. Just taking extravagant honeymoon trip. Okay. Well, I'm bringing the expert on. I don't think age matters when you can pay for what you want. Okay. Okay. Well, when I bring my guest expert on, we're going to talk about it and spill the tea. And you may have seen his face on the Real Housewives of Atlanta out there in hot Atlanta. So we're going to have him spill the tea about it. I am bringing him on. You think it's about expressing yourself? I think so too, Nay. I don't know. I mean, Johnny, what do you think, love? Welcome to the Girls Film That Tea Show. How are you? I can't hear you. Put your mic on, babes. Is your mic on? Check your mic. I can't hear you. We can see the gorgeousness, but we can't hear you. Hold on for a second. Having a teeny bit of technical difficulties. Hold on. Yes, girl, yes. From the Atlanta Housewives, formerly on. I can't hear you. Ugh. Hmm. Try, uh, go out and try to come back in and allow the mic and allow the camera. Okay, we're going to do a take two, okay? He's going to come back on. Yes, so like I said, we saw him on Atlanta Housewives stirring it up and making sure that they look great and doing what they had to do. And guys, look, while we're waiting for him, I got 10 stitches in for my, I think it's going to be a blanket. I'm doing my thing, guys. I have a cutie on my show who is a wedding professional. I'm crocheting as per the challenge that was given to me from JK. And now I'm waiting for him to come back on. So while we're waiting for him, his publicist, um, Yolanda, is on from AAOS. And um, <laughs> I'm officially awake. From AOS Management. So she can speak on his behalf for a couple of moments until he comes back on. But guys, you're rocking it. Aw, thank you so much. You see what? I am channeling my Bernice Elizabeth and whoever, CK, who forever you are, that was, that challenged me to crochet and talk because you didn't think I could do it. There you go. I'm doing a darn thing. Oops, I meant to stitch. Sorry. All right. So while we're waiting for him to come back on, I think that you can get married and wear whatever the heck you want to wear, however you want to wear it, as long as you can walk down that aisle. I mean, I guess I would say, let's just try to keep it classy. Because I have seen wedding gowns where if I was a groom, I would not want my wife to be where her lady bits poking out. And then you got the best men hugging up under her and they're touching areola and all kinds of other stuff. That's just not my type of tea. And I think, and again, my thoughts do not constitute the thoughts of the Perry girls. So please don't say that the Perry girl said, Miss Optimism said, my thoughts do not constitute the thoughts of the Perry girls. So I have seen some really, really raunchy wedding gowns and I'm going to show them to you because I, when I was looking for, everyone knows I was getting married and I was looking for wedding gowns and I asked for suggestions from, um, what's that dagger thing? Um, Siri. And she sent me to this page. I was like, oh, no, this is not going to work. We will not be wearing any of this to <laughs> the wedding, you know. And I have seen some pictures 
that makes you just want to say, what in ham sandwich is going on with society? I've seen thigh. I've seen boob. I've seen all kinds of rocket madness. And I don't want to look at that later on. Okay? So he's back. And Yolanda's on. Aw, oh, shucks. About to bring them both on. Let's do this. Let's do this. Hi, girl. Yes, disclaimer. So can you hear me? I can hear. Can you hear me? I can't. I don't know why I cannot hear them. I hear someone. Can you hear me? I can hear you, Yolanda. I don't know what's going on with this thing. I don't know why I can't hear him. So you know what, Johnny? Can you stay on the stay on the camera like you are, but three way um, wifey, so that way she can we can hear your voice through her phone. Can we do it like that? Turn up your, okay. Turn up your computer volume. Is your computer volume turned all the way up? We're gonna figure this out because I want to hear it all. You see them, right? You see, I, I was challenged, and yeah. Is he mic? Yeah, he's mic'd. He accepted the mic. You can see where it says he accepted the microphone. Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to mute him and unmute him. Johnny, try to say something again. No. Can you call him so he we can hear him on your phone and hear and see your beautiful face and his? Yeah. Okay. Hold on a second, Johnny. See, there's always more than one way to skin a cat. We're going to get this popping because... When I say that he has a message for those who are looking to get married, he has a message. And I think that with him having a message, it, nothing's going to stop us. We're not going to let this stop. Okay? Can't stop, won't stop. That's my motto for this year. Okay? So while we're waiting for him, let us know a little bit about the agency and what you are doing out there in Kansas, girl. Is she? Are you ignoring me, wifey? Okay, let's try this again. Hello? Now I can't hear neither one of them. Yolanda, can I hear you? Yolanda? Oh, she's frozen. Okay. Okay. So maybe we should re Yeah, I think he just restart his computer too. So um, there were some raunchy pictures that I saw. And it wasn't raunchy like, okay, like I'm going to get reported. But it just makes you think about some stuff that people do when it comes to their wedding. And Johnny's going to save you from the catastrophes that you may possibly um, go through with, with the wedding. Okay? So these are bad. Johnny's going to tell you not to do those. Right, Johnny? I almost hear you. There we go. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Ha! Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Ah, hey, Darth, what's going on? So, we got you on. Talk to me. How are you, love? I'm doing well. Can't complain. All right. That's what I'm talking about. It looked like you were about to beat that computer up, though. But we got... <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I was like, I was like, what's really going on? Like, you know, um, I was just getting irritated. I was like, why is it not working? The sound was fine. But I was like, I don't know what's going on. So... Hey, three times a charm, right? That's what I'm talking I'm going to play three for my number. How about that? So, hey, that's it. guys, we got the man, the legend on. So, first of all, who are you? What do you do? And I showed everyone where to find you. So, how did you know that, that being a wedding professional, because you ain't a planner, you're a professional. How did you know that this is what you wanted to do? I didn't. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I didn't know this was what I wanted. Um, I guess when I was seven years old, I used to watch my mom and my grandmother in the kitchen. Uh huh. Uh huh. And so I knew that cooking and designs and parties, because my family throw a lot of parties, uh -huh. that went hand in hand. So weddings became natural when so many family members decided to get married. Right, right. And um, my mom was my overnight bride. Mm. <laughs> so I encouraged everybody else not to do that. So What's an overnight? Tell us what a tell us what an overnight bride is. Well, my my mom she called me on a Friday. Uh huh. Her wedding was on a Saturday at two o'clock. What? Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, stop. She called you on say Friday the thirteenth and Saturday the fourteenth at two. Her was getting married. Not she. Her. 
basically, 